my phone for you. Is anyone out there watching us? I am Dondi Dolan. I'm coming to you from San Diego, California. If you are out there and you can hear me and you can see me, comment, comment for me. Put it in the comments. Who are you? Where are you? Where are you in this big, beautiful world of ours? Are you in South America? Are you overseas in Australia? Are you in Europe? We want to know. I am here with you today to introduce to you a very, very special guest and teacher and Eden Energy Medicine practitioner. And if you already know her, you know what a treat it is to meet Miss Margie Fine and listen to her wisdom and her knowledge. But before I introduce her, I want to know who you are. And guess what? We're going to be talking today about careers and your job and what you do in your life. So in the comments, your name, where you're from, and what do you do? And do you love it? Or do you think, you know, during COVID, I thought about my job a lot and I think I want something a little more. I think I want something I'm aligned with a little bit more. My job's okay but I think I could be blissed out and that's what I'm looking for. If that's what you're looking for, you are so in the right place today on this Facebook Live. And I am so happy to see you. If you're looking for another career, if you're in your career thinking, I think I'm at a time in my life now where I want something different and I'm not too old and I'm not done, and I'm, I still wanna go forward and reach for that. You're in the right place because today Margie Fine is going to talk to us about aligning your energy for your soul-driven career, the one you're in or one that you're looking for. So Eden Method invites you to kick back, relax for 20, 25 minutes. And now I would like to say, hi, Margie, I'm so happy you're with us. Tell us where you're coming to us from today. <laughs> awesome, well, thanks, Dondi. First thing I wanna say more than anything is, I'm so grateful to your mom and to all of you guys who work at InnerSource for this amazing opportunity to talk about a subject that is so near and dear to me. So first and foremost, Right now, I happen to be talking to you from Sedona, Arizona. That's not where I live. I'm from upstate New York, but I happen to be doing a wonderful work retreat here. So um, I want to, I'm kind of embodying my soul-driven career right now. So it's even more apropos to talk about it today. Awesome. And I would like to say that you've been with us two decades, I think. You were one of our founding faculty members for the Eden Energy Medicine Certification Program. I think I met you way back around 2003, maybe. You're a beloved practitioner and you have built your career in New York, a really tough place to build a career. There are many facets and layers of that, but one is that there's just a lot of people in New York City. And you were in New York City seeing a lot of people doing similar things to what you were doing. And I'd like you to talk about that. So in this Facebook Live today, we're going to introduce a class to you that's coming up that Margie will be teaching just in oh, about a couple weeks now. And we're super excited for it. If you're in the Southern California area in San Diego, or you wanna come into San Diego for that class, the class is going to be live in San Diego. But if you're in another part of the world, you get to join us too, because we are going live. We are going to live stream that class. And I'll talk more about that class in a few minutes. But Margie, tell us why you are so passionate to teach about energy medicine, energy healing, and a person's career. Why does that resonate with you? I think you have a little bit of a background in this and a story to tell. 
Absolutely. So I think practitioners develop their best techniques out of need. They say necessity is the mother of invention. Um, I didn't meet Donna until I didn't even get into body work until I was in my 40s. I met Donna in my early 40s. I had been a professional musician. So I had no idea how I was going to start to develop this whole new career. And I wasn't someone who was really that hooked into Facebook or social media at that point. And again, as you were saying, you know, some people struggle with introducing energetic healing when they're in a small town, no one's heard of them. But in New York City, people like me are a dime a dozen. You know, in one square mile, there are probably 20 acupuncturists and a million others who do varieties of energy work. And I really felt some initial um, despair about how I, was I going to really distinguish myself and make myself known in this career. And I decided, well, if I'm an energy medicine practitioner and energy is what precedes every manifestation physically and otherwise, then why don't I use my skills and start to explore that? And so I started to play with the energy work and started, first of all, tuning into what were some of the things that I felt the most um, frightened or nervous or just any kind of trepidation about? So I wanted to hone in because for me, I'm a unique individual. What my fears and worries were might be completely different than somebody else's. So I wanted to understand and then start to untangle what it was in me specifically that might be impeding the energies to flow. So I started tuning into that and then exploring my chakras and my meridians and all the rich energy systems that Donna works with. And what I, so a couple of things started to happen. One, first of all, I started feeling a lot better. I felt more relaxed. I felt more confident because I felt like I had tools to deal with my distress. Now, when you're in a relaxed and confident state, um, first of all, you project yourself in a completely different way. You bring confidence and hopefulness to what you do. So I was able to come up with much more creative ideas that really suited me. Then what happened is when I, so to then a couple of things happened from there. First, before I even started to advertise, people started coming from all different places. It was really amazing. Um, and that continues for me to this day. The other thing that started to happen was when I did outreach, more traditional outreach, like Facebook or advertising of any sort, the results really were exponentially different. So it really felt to me like I was building a practice from the inside out. The other thing is that um, a lot of us, when we feel like we want to present ourselves to the world and try to attract people to pay us money and do things, especially if it's something that's new. And so for you folks out there, whether you're trying to expand something that you're already doing, and this doesn't just apply to an energy medicine practice, this is any sort of creative endeavor, any way that you want to expand the way that you work. Um, so it really, oh, I lost my train of thought there, but I'll try to bring it on back. Um, but anyway, it, so we feel trepidation about that. When we get to that outer edge of our comfort zone, that's when things start to shake up. So to understand that I had tools to really soothe myself with that gave me confidence, made it feel like much more fun. But also, again, we have much better ideas when um, we're in that relaxed state. And that was so helpful to me. And again, I started looking for, sometimes when we're nervous about something, let's say we hate public speaking. Um, but other ways feel more comfortable. We have a tendency in our culture to look to the ways that feel the least comfortable and try to bash our head against that. So in unwinding my energies also, I developed this much more supportive way of working with myself and reaching out in ways that really felt in alignment with who I was. And then from there, I started feeling less nervousness about expanding in other ways. And um, my business just grew. And the funny thing is, I would sometimes reach out in one way, and then people would come from all these different ways. So it just showed me that opening up the energies is the first most important thing you do. And it is the thing that then makes everything else you do much, much more successful and brought many more results. Fantastic, Margie. So I want to update the people who are just joining us as you're speaking and they're saying, what is this about? What is this about? This is about aligning your energies 
for a soul driven career. And so a lot of people know energy healing and Eden energy medicine and the Eden method for the physical body or the mental body or the emotional body, how to find more joy, how to find health. But Margie is going to teach you in this class coming up about aligning your energies so you feel more bliss in the career you already have, or you can take a leap to another career. And Margie, I was just looking at the comments here. I want to read you some of them. We have Dina from Rochester, Kent. She just finished the 12 week online course. Wonderful. We have Nar from Nairobi. Nar oh, said, gosh. yes, from Nairobi. We have West Virginia, Bibi from Bulgaria. We have Corsica. We have Elaine from Michigan. We have Romania. <laughs> we have Andrea or Andrea, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but Cordova, she's from California. She says she has a disability. She doesn't love it, meaning probably her career, doesn't love her career. So we're going to, in this class, Margie is going to teach you how to open up your energetic body so love comes in for your career, for your job. We have, who else? Tarzana, California, Pennsylvania. We have Maria Skelton who gets to share organic superfoods with people. That's a great job. So we have some people here who are saying, I'm not done. I want to keep going. I want more happiness in my career. We have Jan from Texas. We have from St. Louis. We have Tanya. Hi, Tanya. So we have some people who are, who are saying, yeah, it's okay, but I could, I could get a little bit more, I think. And Margie, talk to us about some of the things that people struggle with, because people strug struggle with poverty mentality, and that could be from how you're raised to just how you see money and you can open up your energy for that. People have imposter complex thinking, mm -hmm. who am I to say I'm an expert? Even people who have, who have studied for 20 years and have degrees have imposter complex. And that energy can really bury you. It can be a barrier mm -hmm. for a soul driven career. So Margie, talk to us about this class. It's happening May 17th through the 19th in San Diego. We have seats open if you'd like to come, but we're also live streaming and the link is in the comments. So you'll be able to click on that after this Facebook live and talk to us about some of the kind of techniques you'll be working with because this isn't just theory this isn't going to be you standing on a stage being a talking head while people take notes this is actually hands-on energy work for a soul-driven career so tell us about that okay so first <laughs> and foremost how thrilling to have you people from all over the world that just fills me with joy um the next thing i want to say is you know everyone is entitled and merit and deserves to love what they do on a daily basis. There's a difference between coming home from when I end of the day, I'm tired, but it's that good tired of like, wow, a job well done, not that beaten down dreary feeling of slogging away. But most of us feel we have to tamp down, you know, there's a great quote and it's the problem isn't um, shooting too low. It's the problem isn't shooting for too high and and missing, it's for shooting too low and getting it. So I want to inspire people and let them know that the things that you love to do, these are the things that you're going to be the best at. When you meet someone who you hire for whatever, and you see how impassioned they are about what they do, that thrills you and that gives you confidence about them. Um, and then the whole concept of, so in all these things that hold us back emotionally, I'll, I'm going to put them in the general category of limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs are things like there's millions of people who do what I do. That was one of mine in New York. How, you know, who am I to think I can stand out? Earning money is dirty, especially if you're in a healing career like I am, or even a creative career like I was before. We somehow associate that money is a more base thing and it's not part of the enlightenment of, um, you know, doing creative things. I say 
you need a certain amount of money so that it's not on your mind all the time so you can be free and do what you love. So um, there's lots of limiting, limiting beliefs. If you have a family where everyone was poor, it's gonna feel uncomfortable and you might even get some negative kickback if you start to be really successful. So there are a myriad, oh, I'm too old. You know, guys, I'm 61 now and with COVID, I had to really reinvent the way I work. I was working hands-on and it has opened up using these tools. You know, I will admit freely, I had some initial fears and worries about that, but I knowing that I have the tools to work with that changes the whole energy. It's like being really hungry and knowing you've got a fridge full of delicious food. That hunger feels really different than if you don't. So when you know you've got tools to use, even the things that are fearful to you don't penetrate as deeply. And I will tell you, my goal for you is to come out of this class with clear, easy, powerful tools, a large variety of them that I absolutely, I'm so confident that you're gonna to start to shift your energies with this. I'm a really practical person. Um, I always say my heads are in, my head's in the clouds, but my feet are on the ground. So I like to dream big, but it's not enough for me to have dreams. I wanna see that dream realized. And that's what I really wanna help you guys with. That's been my joy in teaching energy medicine for these past 20 years is helping people not just learn these techniques, but understand that you don't have to sacrifice making a living. You don't have to suffer with that. You can have a robust, you can make money, take vacations, buy presents for your friends. You know, earning enough money doesn't equal greed. And a lot of people have that connection with it. It's not trying to steal anything. It's trying to offer something amazingly powerful that you have to offer and getting well recompensed. It's a beautiful figure eight of energy. So the class is gonna be in kind of three sections. The first day, what I wanna talk about is this whole concept of working with the subconscious mind. These deep held limiting beliefs that we have that impede us, that's when you do everything you know, like maybe you do all kinds of social media and advertising and nothing comes your way. That is a reflection of your subconscious mind. When your subconscious is on board, that's when everything flows to you naturally. We're more used to dealing with our conscious mind. Um, and our conscious mind is so small and puny compared to the subconscious. So there are direct ways, different varieties of what we would call energy psychology that show you how to interface directly with the subconscious and start to unwind things from that more creative level, from that almost like that's the template, the energetic template you create, and then the world starts to assemble around that. So the whole first day is gonna be to exploring that, to understand in yourself or help you start to understand where your own limitations are and then give a variety of concrete, easy to use tools to start to unwind that. The second day then, now that we've discovered a bit about what is it that's actually holding us back and start to unwind it from that subconscious level, then the second day is gonna be about energy medicine. So we're gonna look at some of the energetic systems that are more directly related to some of these old archaic beliefs in us and also about what we attract, what we pull in and what we're repelling. So we're going to spend the whole rich day um, talking about these systems and giving, you know, it's gonna be a variety of techniques. Some of them are gonna be so simple that you won't believe it, but I'm telling you, I always tell my students, I have a New York City mortgage based on a freelance energy medicine career. I do not have a college degree and I started energy medicine in my forties. So, and there's nothing special about me except that I love this work and wanted to share it. All of that is available to you. And then the last day, which is just a half day, we're gonna talk about ritual, meaning bringing these things into your day-to-day -day life, the stuff that's important to you, we need to spend time with it. So we're gonna talk about how to build some practices that get you to start to put some more focus, some more actual nuts and bolts spending time, but it's a different way of spending time than just, you know, um, like, like I say, some of the traditional ways that we market. This is spending time working with yourself, working with the things you discovered and every day gathering your energy, setting your intention to who you wanna be and where you wanna go. This sounds fantastic. And Margie, I know you, I've known you a long time. And what I love is you bring this 
big umbrella of energy healing into a very pra practical, logical, workable, doable, easy, and simple modality that people can use every day of their lives mm -hmm. that helps them. And I just want to give a quick shout out because physicians and doctors make their work very practical and logical. And we do that as well in Eden Method Eden Method, and we have a physician with us on right now, and her name is Judy. Hi, Judy Madura from Lubbock, Texas. I just want to give a shout out to our physicians and our doctors because Eden Method pairs so beautifully with the medical field, and people think that oh, energy healing is way out there and hard to understand. And it's kind of woo in the air and I can't really grab onto it. You know what? You can grab onto it. It can change your life. It can change you physically, mentally, emotionally, and even with your career. And that is what Margie is teaching us in this class. So Margie, let me give a few logistics about the class so people know. Awesome. If, if, yeah, I'm so excited about it. So first of all, May 17th through the 19th, if you wanna come to San Diego, it's a beautiful property. You can click on the link in the comments, find out all about it. If you haven't been to San Diego, people love San Diego. It's pretty much a paradise here where I live. <laughs> but if you're in another part of the world and you want to live stream with us, live stream with us. And if you're thinking, oh, May 17th through the 19th, I'm not sure if I can make all the sessions. I had something planned. We're going to give you all the recordings. So you can have those recordings as long as you're living and wanting to watch them and going back to them and reminding yourself of what was in this class. So I wanted to tell you that as always, I'm reading my piece of paper so I don't miss anything. We have a 100% 30 day guaranteed, guaranteed, no questions asked because we are so confident that you're going to love this class. So if if you don't, for whatever reason, and you think, you know what, I took the class, just wasn't for me, you email us, we give you your money back. So really, there's nothing to lose if you're thinking, oh, I think I might want to take that class, but I'm not sure. Come on in. There's no reason to not be sure because we have a 100% 30-day guarantee. Now, right now, you can save over 25% on the class. There are no prerequisites. So when I say no prerequisites, I mean, if you're a beginner and you're thinking, oh, I've never really done energy healing, but it interests me and I want to, come on in you are welcome in this class all right you're going to get a course book a course guidebook 15 hours of live training as i said unlimited access to the class recording what else margie what else do we want to tell them <laughs> well what i do want to tell you folks first of all it's so generous of you guys to say if you didn't like it your money's back so you can try this and you know, I always say, you know, I'll get clients sometimes who absolutely have no idea what energy work is. And I say, look, I can tell you about this, but honestly, the only important thing is that you're struggling with something and you work with me for a while and then you feel better. That's the only thing that matters. The other thing I want to say is that um, I really thought long and hard of this about this because I was met with the challenge of how can I make this accessible and interesting and exciting for people who have absolutely no energy experience and how can I make this inspirational and exciting and new for people who have gone through our entire program? I think I managed it. So whether you have any experience with this or not, or whether you've gone through all four years of Eden energy training, I feel like I've threaded that needle. And um, so there'll be things for all of you to try. And the techniques, so many of them are gonna be so simple. So, you know, whatever way it is that you feel like you would just love to wake up and feel happier and more inspired about your work and make money from it as well. This, I think, is going to be a really satisfying class for you. Um, also, I want to say that um, 
I'm going to be on Jeffrey's going to they're going to be giving a link to my Facebook page and that will be open for at least a few weeks to answer questions. So if you took the class and you have questions that you want to pose to me that I'll be monitoring that for at least a month after the class and we can continue the conversation. I'm really, really glad and eager to do that with you folks. Wonderful. Thank you, Margie. And again, this is live. So you'll be answering questions during the class. This is a, a more than it's it's more of a give and take than I think people imagine when they think I'm going to take a class online and I'll sit there and listen to someone all weekend. This is hands on. You're getting into your soul energy. What what does your soul say? How does it speak to you and how does that flow through your career? So we're excited for the class, May 17th through the 19th. Tell us in the comments, are you coming? We want to see you there. And again, if you want to come to San Diego, we have some seats open and we'd love to see you live. So Margie, thank you so much for being with us today. You're in Sedona, Arizona today, aren't you? Yes, I am. And is it super hot? Is it super warm? It's actually so beautiful because it's warm and sunny during the day, but it cools down in the evening and the morning. So it's just, I came from kind of the cold Northeast, so I'm grooving on it here. <laughs> nice. Well, that's very similar to San Diego. We're warm during the day and then you got to grab your sweater for nighttime. It cools awesome. down and we're excited if we see you here in San Diego. If not, we'll see you on the live stream. Thank you to all of you from all over the world who took your precious time to be with us today. Margie, we love you and we will see you at the class. Mwah. Thank you everybody.